Good morning, everyone. As you can see, I have a little bit of makeup on my face already. We are ready to go back to the grind today. I'm trying to get more into the routine that I had before I moved to Tbilisi, so I'm going to do a little bit of a workout, which I'm not going to film because I'm not that comfortable with that yet. And then I will be doing some devotionals, so um, reading this book about God, and then doing some journaling. That is part of the routine that I had before as well. Then I will get into showing you our to-do list for All right, so obviously I have changed from my workout clothes and we had some lovely breakfast outside on the balcony and now I'm going to show you a little bit of what I do for my morning devos. Right now for my devotionals, I am currently reading this book called The Rest of the Gospel by Dan Stone. And you might have noticed on my Instagram recently, I did quote Dan Stone, and the quotation is actually from this book. It's really good. It's about how we so often miss out and only really act on and hear part of the gospel instead of the full gospel. So usually I read a little bit of this. Currently I am on chapter 19. And then I journal about it in this lovely notebook right here. I write a prayer. Sometimes the prayer is to do with what I learned in the book that I'm reading. Other times it's just a prayer that's on my heart, whoever God brings to mind for me to pray for. I also usually do this while drinking some coffee because I like to do that in the mornings. It keeps me awake for the rest of the day. And I also listen to some uh, soaking worship music while I read and write as well because I find that just really helps me um, connect with God and put me in the mood for meditation. I highly recommend doing this um, whether it's in the morning or at night or whenever you function best really because it's just, I mean it doesn't have to be the specific book either, like most of the time if I'm not reading a book I meditate on scripture as well. Um, and I would honestly say probably meditating on scripture is better, but every now and again I do like to read these types of books as well as my devotionals. So yeah, I would highly recommend this. It has really helped me in my faith journey, just taking the time to be with God, be in His presence each and every morning. It has honestly changed my life. film it for probably obvious reasons. <laughs> Just like I'm probably not going to film the rest of the day because the rest of the day on my to-do list is a bunch of work things and then also just organizing the files on my computer, so lots of digital things that is not very exciting to watch. So I will actually just say good night now and I hope you have a great day and that you've been enjoying these quarantine vlogs. Bye! What? <laughs> Well, I was looking to see how <laughs> I know, I can tell them by the way. <laughs> well, I'm still it's listening. It's the same though. way that you look at <laughs> What do you mean? I just look over there. I didn't do anything. I just looked over No, but the look on your face was like how you look. Yeah, that's how you look when you look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about, how you look at myself. Okay, anyway.